What's going on, everybody? So today I am making a broccoli cheese soup from scratch. And right now, what I'm doing is I'm just frying up a little bacon because this is going to be the meat that we put in the soup a little bit. Over here, we've got some onions going. And we're about to start making the roux. So what you really need for this is just a little butter, some onions. You can use different vegetables that you like. I like celery, so I'm using celery. Some people like carrots, so you can use carrots. Broccoli is a must though, of course. Add a little bit more butter in there. So you don't want to overcook the bacon, by the way. You know, you want to just crunch it enough to where you can crumble it. So once this onions and this butter finishes melting, oh, time to take this out. Take these out. Yeah, once that all finishes melting, it'll be um, ready to uh, start putting the uh, flour in. And we're gonna start our roux. Now the trick is, you wanna put enough flour in so that your base will form. But the real trick to a roux is honestly just consistent stirring. You still got to have your equal parts fat and equal parts flour. But outside of that, Sit this over here. All right. Now, while that's going, let me show you this. Princess House also gave me these. And this. So, it's a lot easier to keep up with stuff now. So, what we want to do first is we're going to use about a couple of, about start off with one cup of flour. But we're going to do two because I used a whole stick of butter. Now, the trick with this roux, honestly, is just consistent stirring. Until all of it gets that flour smell and taste out of it. And you just want to brown it up. It's all you want to do. Make sure you get all the onions in there with it. Okay. 
Okay. And now this is only for just about a few minutes. You just want to get all that flour cooked. And then you get your chicken stock. Just let this simmer down for just a few minutes. Now, now that that's all stared up, now we start adding in the little vegetables. So now that it's thick, just going to start adding in our vegetables. First, we're going to add in the celery. Stir that in. You want to make sure it's stirred in there real good. Okay, then our broccoli. Now, since this is raw, you do want it to cook, but you want it to cook slowly. So we turn the eye down so that it will cook on a slow and we're just going to let that sit there and cook for a little bit and then comes the best part next okay now that it's been a few minutes and this has started to uh now we add half and half just a little not too much you a close up and this is what it looks like so far okay and now we're going to add some seasonings okay so first we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder Now, you also have to add a little salt and a little pepper, but I prefer fresh grounded pepper myself.
and then we're going to add a little salt. Now, I don't use regular salt. I like to use a little bit of sea pink salt. Well, not too much. This is really just for taste. And then you want to just let that sit in there, stir in there for a minute. Then I add a little slap your mamas and a little Creole. And then last but not least, you add nutmeg. Not too much, just enough for the color. Now, I use two types of cheese, mild cheddar and sharp cheddar. The cheese guy, what can I say? Then we're just gonna turn that down because now we're just at the point right where you just want the cheese to melt. Now that we got this really low, we're just gonna let this cheese melt and it should only take a couple of minutes. Let's see what happens. Yep. And it is just about done. Now we gotta do is just add the bacon.
and we're done. Broccoli cheese soup. Now, all I have to do is just get one of my very lovely soup bowls from Princess House. Thank you for joining me, and uh, if you try the recipe, tell me what you think.